This is Daniel Rebakken in his studio in Gothenburg. For the past few years, the 30-year-old has been winning one international award after another for his lamp designs. His work is shown in Milan, London and Paris. Unlike a lot of other designers, he focuses not so much on the lamp, but on the light. The big problem is that they're not actually about light. You know, most lamps are, uh, the, the press photos is taken with the light turned off. So it's just much more about the, the sculptural part of it than actually uh, designing light. Rybakun's great passion is daylight. He loves exploring how light behaves in nature and how that can be recreated. He can even make a windowless space look sunny, like this stairwell in Stockholm. He worked on the installation for two years and used six and a half thousand LEDs. What you see here, these light patches, it's actually uh, not the sun coming in, it's actually LEDs behind the wall to make the illusion as natural as, as possible and as real as possible. It's important for all of these details like yeah, this edge here on the sides have to be a little bit more uh, sharper than the top and bottom. They have to be more blurred. So it's a lot of testing to get this right. Rybakun grew up in Norway. He was heavily influenced by the light in Scandinavia, where it's sunny almost around the clock in the summer, and there's very little daylight in winter. I think a lot of people are very sensitive to light. And uh, I think that's natural when you see how the, the weather is and how, you know, it's three o'clock and it's all, already starting to, you know, have the, have the sun, sunset already. And I think that uh, the lack of, of light makes you really focus on, on the positive things with it. He's been fascinated by this effect since his childhood. His bedroom at his parents' home in Oslo was his first research lab, so to speak. When this small little room is lit with natural light, you just feel like you're part of something greater than the four walls of the room. You know, then you turn on the, the light. The room is transformed into uh, almost like a prison. Rebakun's natural light installations can only be seen in galleries or at design trade fairs. His lamps are now being mass-produced and sell for between 400 and 800 euros. It sometimes takes several years for Rybakun to go from hatching an idea to completing a lamp. He uses computer programs and a 3D printer to develop prototypes. Despite their technical sophistication, the forms of his designs are always clear and simple. I just do the things that I would want for myself. And I think in, in that way, I can, I can create things that are very honest, uh, instead of me trying to figure out what, what you would like. By four in the afternoon, Rybaka no longer has any daylight for working. So he heads home to his little daughter. Her name is Sol, Spanish for sun.